My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train Herzl's Workshop. We're going to be continuing with our challenges, doing the true champion challenge. You don't have a champion and Dante will help you out instead. So we're also continuing our streak of just having Dante featured in every single episode recently. Very, very lucky in that regard. Uh, Dante's Comedy, start with Dante the Deceptive and three Dante's Candles. So we do not, importantly, we do not start with Dante's Cloak so we don't get the extra spell damage. Uh, how we do remove the champion. So I've chosen here to go for Hellhorn's Awoken, uh, sorry, Hellhorn's Exiled. I would have gone for the torches here if it weren't for the fact that the, uh, that there's the limitation. Mm, actually, maybe the torches is still better for us. Yeah, there's still backline damage when we need it a little bit in the early game. Collector kills as well. Okay, I'll go for the torches. Uh, and then I wanted the Awoken Root Seeds. That is going to be a really, really good buff. Like a plus 10 damage buff every single time I play it on Dante. Also, both Hellhaunt and Awoken have access to good frontline units. Good tanks that could stand in front of Dante and make this a pretty good time. Uh, the Rage and any of the stat buffs we can get from Awoken. Like both of those are going to really work out well for us. There's also the, the Wildwood Tome for quick. Double Fledgling Imp single... Impish Scholar, double Steel Enhancer. I didn't even think about it, but Steel Enhancer is ridiculous. I'm just going to take the plus five there. Just uh, in, in my eternal quest to constantly hate on the, uh, the Cursed Vines. Four, six, what, nine. I'm okay with taking both of those, I think, actually. Slays for diamond shield, so it'd be Dante, Steward. I mean, I need space for another fledgling up eventually, so I'm leaving the front line. Unfortunately, that fledgling up has to go on the floor by itself. Get him, Dante. Only consume card is not a spell. So basically just make sure I get that root seeds out there and then we are fine, I believe. Yup. Good fight. So we've got this extra money. We've got an Awoken banner next to the Merchant of Steel. That's what we wanted to see. That should really help us uh, clutch our tank. Hidden Passage, Impressive, and multi -imps. I don't think it's impossible to put the Impressive in this deck. Oh, it's going to be harder once we actually put tanks down, though. Let's skip for that reason, then. As much as I desperately want Razor Sharp Edge, Restoration Detonation is already a plan for keeping my frontliner alive and I have no healing in the deck yet. But if I don't take this Razor Sharp Edge, I never see it again. It's plus 50 damage every time I play it. You can't, you can't turn that down. I need to find my healing options elsewhere. There are more other healing options than there are other ways to get the stat buffs I need. Heartstone, Thornstone, okay. Are we going to do that? So Shattered Shell in the front line that has Heartstone and Thornstone on it is going to get a bunch of slays pretty easily. But the thing is, if it swept and hit back, it would have gotten those slays anyway a lot of the time. So I don't know if that actually really helps. That said, I can Large Stone it and Heartstone it, put it in the front line. And then I have my Sweep taken care of and then Dante is my big kill taken care of. Hellvents. I mean, I'd probably actually Hellvent to steal in hearts are very happily here. Dante eventually wants quick. Why would I put a steel, uh, shattered steel in front? It's the best I can do. Best I can do. 
Oh god, I didn't even think about it. Dante can be the upgrade. Wait a second, Dante can be duped. Uh, actually, the multi-strike really doesn't matter. Rage. I didn't even think about that. Almost enemies enter with... Did, did, it, did it sound like I can? We don't get overwhelmed on the top line. Sack Nimp. You can do. Uh, sorry, I've just been thinking this entire time. You can do Dante in this challenge, right? I just made the worst mistake ever. Ritual of battle, one hundred percent. Another steal in hearts of them. That minion pickup we just made was bad. We didn't end it. I'm not even gonna go there just because I might be able to change Dante's size here. It would have been lovely. Uh, Umbra Stygian melting. We'll go Umbra. Forever consumed is possibly valid in this deck. But we're going to have a lot of energy. We want to invest in other stuff. Sure. I'm not even going to take it. Uh, the rares from the other ones would have been less valuable for us, though. We can dupe Dante. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the game plan here is not what I was trying to do. Of, like, get one Dante quite large and such. It's, it's just dupe Dante. Put all the Dantes on the same floor. I really wish that I'd known that I was going to be doing that. Um, that it wasn't going to be treated as a champion. I think I did know that at the past... In the past, at some point, rather. Subsequently forgot it. Casual 200 damage to the boss. As much as I want to pop a ritual of battle out there. I'd prefer for Dante to be a little healthier. Use a razor sharp edge to make sure the enemy doesn't ascend. In fact, I will do. Let's spread the love on a couple different floors here. Hey, great. Did the boss was going to go to this floor. Turned out to be true. And bomb's not preventing any of our damage right now. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I score a kill. Okay. We've got... Easy kills there. I'm probably going to go capacity as well so I can put both Dantes on the same floor. Wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Both of them have the keyword intrinsic. Starts in your opening hand. Okay, yeah, we definitely do that. We need to put both of them on the same floor on the first turn. Okay. There's a transcendent. Dark deal. God. I'm not going to have space to play imps on the same floor. I'm taking Dark Deal. <sighs> How do we do this? Merchant Steel. Merchant Steel's on the opposite side to the Hellvent down here. So we wouldn't be going to that Merchant Steel. Um, 
the range brute makes so much sense here. I just, I have to find a way to put it on the same floor. I'll, I'll work for it. I, I'll do that. It's fine. I'll put the legwork in. I think we're powerful enough that we don't really... Maybe this is one of those challenges that you don't really need to think that much about. It's like, kind of like a victory lap challenge. This is really hard. More draw me like both of these are in the opening hand, and I won't be able to play both of them a lot of the time with just the base energy. Uh, on top of that, while Ritual of Battle is really positively affected, all of the steel enhancers are negatively affected by this volatile gauge. As much as I want draw, and I do want draw, I had to take the channel hard there. Trust me, I want draw. Not with enemy units for soul. As if. When are they going up a floor? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> okay, so we don't get even do anything there. On Wildwood's home. Give me that quick. Pop. Summon ability to trigger an additional time. Well, we just turned down the transcendent, but you don't turn down this. Now we won't turn down any more transcendent. Is Pyre Chumper what we need? If nothing else, it'll put uh, the upgrades into a transcendent for the future. Possibility of the future. There's a restoring retreat. That's the ability to overstack the same floor. We take it. All right, we have our plan now. It's two Dantes on the same floor. We descend a deranging brute into the same floor as well. A deranging brute doesn't necessarily have to have any good stats. Uh, that actually gives me the ability to dupe another Dante. And then we add draw or energy, maybe energy. Actually, yeah, energy. Okay, cool. Uh, so the Unstable Vortex now is a removal of the Shattered Shell. Sorry about it. Ish. Uh, and a Train Steward. Our dupe is another of the Dantes. Should have been after we went to the Concealed Cabins here. That's my bad. I'm going to take the Petrified Heart here because I am very low on heals and I think that I can scale my damage high enough that I will no longer have to worry about heals. Start a battle and I'm gonna... Like I care. I've, I've never actually cared about this one. The Sycophants don't do much damage. This is just a free 150 like almost all of the time. Okay, so this one is double Dante on top floor. Uh, Dante on this floor. And then the Drange Brute goes behind it. And then we have to descend two Dantes. Uh, restoring Retreat might end up being used much differently here. Very glad to chump block here. In fact, those chumps, the extra 10 health, are very helpful. <sighs> I mean, look, if we got the kill on all of them already, don't mess around with differences. Oh, a single torch, and then we've probably got to kill on the next floor. And indeed we do. Alright. I mean, Rage Stone makes some kind of sense. 
Decreases the average cost of the deck as well. Do I want a second Restoring Retreat in here? Pyro is actually really good. Pyro is really good. I want energy. Okay. There are so many relics over here that could really help us. Fine. Show us those relics then, game. That's one of them. You dare show us the other one? Bingo. <laughs> well, energy's no longer really a problem for us. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, when summon friendly units get plus one damage for every blight card in your deck. Playing a blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. These, these are just three more... For Dante. Dante gets big. And then the Dantes already have what? How many? One, two, three, four, five. Five in the deck. Right? So they're coming in now with eight extra stacks of multi-strike as well as eight extra damage, which eight by eight. That's certainly a number. 64. That we're uh we're excited about. This is this is good. This is very good. Okay, Merchant Trinkets here. Whenever a card with consumers played, restore five pyre health. We have a couple of those. One, two. We've got the ability to return one of them as well. I don't think I'm going to take it. I'm going to try and hold my money. And see if we have, uh, I don't know, anything else we might want to do for some reason. I don't know. I, uh, maybe there's something else we want to do. Oh, look at it. Go one, two, three, four, <laughs> and a fledgling in. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my gosh. I really wish that fledgling was already dead so I can play that. I'm sorry I've had to sacrifice you so many times, Wanda. The double punch. Okay, that's rough. Uh, yeah, here's where the healing on the front line missing matters. I mean, I may as well just kill the back line of there, save us some. Scholar doesn't have to get anyone to be fine. Get retreated. I'll be keeping my front line as well, thank you. And then killing fell. Good fight. There's the Wildwood Tome. Ask him, ye shall receive plus one capacity on each floor. No, draw, yes. Energy, kind of, but we're going to supplement that, don't worry. I mean, we already have really good supplement already in the in Hell's Banners. It's just making the Hell's Banners more consistent <clears throat> in some way. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> just <clears throat> cough. Uh, I'm going to go for the Forgotten Boons over on this side. Don't really have anything I want to magic power. Uh, I will decrease the cost of basically every root seeds I have the ability to. Reroll. There's our double stack. Concealed Caverns, what have you got for us? Way too late for Petty Theft. It's possible that we make a mint off of that. As long as we have it in the same hand as... Actually, do I want to put Permafrost on it to guarantee that I have it in the same... No, I can't. Just roll past the Permafrost. Uh, as the Pyre Chomper, that would be. Number of enemy units get eight additional damage. As soon as I get my quick out they get zero damage. So I feel like I'm okay. Oh my god. One, two, three, descend. Dark stack. Come on, Wildwood's home. One time. 
didn't get the tome. That's fine. We've we've got more time to get the tome. Do not worry. It's not like this actually presents a problem for us. Okay, we've now run out of time to get the tome. I get so much energy this turn that I can't use on anything. 39, the incoming just 29, 8. Right, 29 and 8? 37, so literally, that'll save us. One more turn! We can't say we didn't try our God's honest best. I'm not even going to use Razor Sharp. I'm just going to use the one that gives me extra draw. Because... Yep. Yeah. Okay, now now we're fine. Literally, I just need to get a single Wildwood Tome out there, and now we are completely okay. Um... Let's get Steward out. Maybe in the second cycle we managed to get the uh, the cards in the right order. Come on. Two. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping we were going to get the Gift of Gratitude one more time. Shiny, plus a Dante on the top floor. I'm going to Restoring Retreat you down. For no real reason. Because we already had the kill. Taking it. Invigorating solution is really good in the first cycle for us, so I'm still taking that one too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, I mean, look, duping that dark deal is so, so much. Come on. No, that's not it either. Game, you know what I'm looking for. Give me. Well, look, <laughs> I tried. Plus two on Slay. I mean, look, that's a decent amount of damage, so we'll take it. I Obviously, I was looking for generate a single imp every single turn, have the Ashes of the Fallen, try and uh, work in around the borders, but it's fine. Let's make that Dark Deal free. Double stack on a Ritual of Battle and then decrease its cost. Never be able to play it. Love that. I'm kind of fine with that, actually. <laughs> Legitimately not, not bothered because playing that a single time is already everything that I need. Dupe that dark deal, obviously. Then the removers, the the shiny suits, interestingly here, are actually a little bit of an energy pump for us. The torches are garbage, though. They are actually the worst things we currently hold. Also, give a uh, plus twenty magic power and. Damage to one. All right, Seraph. I don't care how much rage removal you have. I have more rage gain. It's not unlikely that I have the ability to kill them early as well. Oh, gosh. Un, de, toi, cat. Sonk. And then we'll just throw the sting on the bottom board. Oh, that is a very early Wildwood Tome. We're off to a start. We are off to one hell of a start. Haven't we done well, boys? Let's see, a quote of a specific character rather than 
necessarily uh, necessarily calling my entire audience male. Hmm. Good root seeds here. Also, just want the extra draw for the next turn. Okay, we've got eight on the draw. I can't get two imps in the same hand for the absolute life of me right now. Am I even going to be descending and retreating? I got one copy of it. I guess I still just throw all of the buffs I can on you. Give the gratitude for a solid 40 right there. Perfect. Let's start with the... Higher Chomper on the bottom floor. Follow up the Impish Skull of the double gain. Nice. Another Wildwood Tome for this midline. Let's descend you. Blocking the heal. That's completely fine. More haste. More haste. Happy to set up a Chump Blocker. If nothing else, I'm getting rid of those cards from the deck, though. Come to the middle floor. That's where all the fun is. I promise I'm not going to murder you. Casual 320 by 9. Quick. Come to the middle floor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Not really as much damage as I thought we were going to be able to do here. It was fine. Just had to waste a lot of those against uh, the amount of light wings that were spawned. Bye -bye. I should have been hard casting with my keyboard the entire time. Yeah, so this is the Duke Dante challenge. Like, I think I made good clan choices for it, but I, I don't know if there was ever really going to be much difficulty in this for us. I'd recommend these clans, if, the, if this is a thing that you're interested in uh, doing, accomplishing for yourself. Maybe if you've encountered uh, some difficulty with it. Yeah, I definitely recommend these clans. They have exactly the tools that we needed, and we can kind of see that uh, borne out in the run as it currently stands. GG. There's our Frozen Heart completion. I think it's also probably time to maybe have a little bit of a... <laughs> on your own. This is uh, an achievement that we just earned here. Hang on. It is win a run without a champion. Fair enough. Let's go to the run summary here for a second as I don't copy the deep link. Use this to generate an expert challenge just in case anyone would like to play the seed that I just played. Play it in a unique way. Even compete possibly on the leaderboard. Uh, for the moment though, after Tails Touch Health. I mean, laughter is good medicine. And if you tell someone a, a funny story, you could say that Tails Touch Health. Uh, one thing that I do want to check here is what the next challenge is. Just before we go into it. Overcharge, your Pyre can't take damage or you lose. But on the bright side, you have extra Ember and Capacity. Okay, I think I'm... I think I'm good with this. Oh, I... It's the only hit point that matters, right? That is going to be a fun one to jump into in the next episode. Until then, though, my name is Ram to be the name of the game. Has been Monster Train. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game. Past, present, and yeah, best believe future. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and we'll see you tomorrow.